Today I want to give you an idea of the new features you will find in the new version of NTOPNG we are developing. NTOPNG has been traditionally used for monitoring traffic, so it means that it can read packets from one or multiple network interfaces and display them on a web GUI. In the new version we have introduced something more than that. Let's now log into the NTOPNG interface. As you can see we have modified the dashboard. The new dashboard is much richer with respect to the past. It is dynamic. As you can see on the left side uh, we see the top talker, on the bottom we see the top HTTP site. Here we see uh, the protocols that uh, are uh, currently uh, in use in our network. And as you can see everything is dynamic. Uh, everything moves. So it means that th this information will change in real time as well this information. At the moment I cannot show you too much because my laptop <coughs> is attached to the internet uh, in a special way. How? I show you. So as you can see the name of the interface is different here. It's called bridge. In the bridge interface it is possible to attach two network interfaces and to bridge them using NTOPNG. So in essence the new NTOPNG can also act as a bump in the wire. It means that it can work uh, as in previously as a passive monitoring interface uh, or it, it acts similar to a firewall where you can specify policies and you can say do this or don't do that. In this example the ETH4 interface is a wireless interface and the ETH3 interface is just my link to the internet. My Macintosh laptop is attached to the Luca network that is the wireless interface attached to the ETH4. As you can see these are the flows I can do things such as, you know, run Skype. Let's show an example. Let's make a test call. Or, for instance, I can go to Wikipedia and everything works. In this case, the bridging between the interface is done by NTOPNG. No routing, no bridging in Linux, nothing. Everything is done in user space by NTOPNG over PFRing. What, what is special with this? Mm. I will show you. Let's have a look at the host. And let's have a look at the IP address that has been assigned to my PC. Let's click on network. Let's now have a look at the IP. As you can see, I'm attached to the Wi-Fi. And my address is dash, uh, sorry, 192.168.134. So basically this, as you can see there is an apple, it has been uh, correctly identified as my PC. In case there is a bridged interface, <coughs> NTOPNG will display you something extra. As you can see, there is host traffic policy. At the moment uh, there are no blacklisted protocols, so it means that my uh, laptop can do everything. Let's now modify this policy. As you can see, it displays you uh, a, a network that is basically my PC or if you want you can specify a global policy for your network and set exceptions for specific hosts. Let's now set an exception for my PC. I would say for my PC I want to block Skype. Done. Now let's go back to my flows. Everything is happening. These are the old Skype uh, connections. Let's now start to Skype again. The first thing you will notice is that Skype will now try to log in, but we have told NTOPNG to drop Skype for my PC. This means that just Skype will be dropped because other things such as Wikipedia, for instance, can work, or I can run I don't know Spotify and Spotify can work. Here we go. So Spotify is uh, loaded. Now, I told NTOPNG to drop Skype. These are my, my Spotify links. Let's now see my host. 34 flows. As you can see here, there is a strike through here. So in essence, this connection was a Skype connection that has been stopped by NTOPNG. As you can see, Skype is offline. If I now try to 
run Skype again, see, it says I'm offline. So AntOpenG, in essence, is doing its work. Now, let's go back to the initial page, and let's modify the host policy again, and let's move Skype back on the list of whitelisted protocols. Let's now start Skype. As you can see, Skype is now green, and I can run my Skype again. This is just one of the new features that will be included in the new NTOPNG. The idea is that we'll, it is possible to run NTOPNG and to use NTOPNG as a monitoring device or also as a bridging device where you can specify the policy. This is very useful in small network or even on a large one because the current implementation is based on PFRing ZC that is quite fast. The idea is that for instance you can have a home router based on NTOPNG that allows you to see what's going on, to see what your children are doing and to s selectively say this host can do this, this host cannot do that and at the same time have a global policy. As you can see in the bridging interface there is a new menu entry called traffic filtering that allows you to do this there is a, a, a specific uh, setting for specific host, or you can add your own host or 0000 dash slash 0 for a global setting. This is one of the new features that will be introduced in the new NTOPNG version. I hope you enjoyed this video, and soon you will see new features uh, displayed on YouTube of the new NTOPNG. Thank you very much.